Hey everybody, welcome back to this series on Express.js. Uh, this is the third video. So, so far, if we hop over the code, we've covered how to set up a very basic Express application. Uh, and in the last video, we covered how to use send file uh, to serve down a static HTML file like this one here. So we've got this app that basically is listens on port 3000 and just returns down this HTML. Uh, so this will get us pretty far, but as we're serving static content, one of the things we're going to probably want to do right away is send down a style sheet. So let's take a look at how that would work. So uh, if we go over here into the head tag um, and we make this link here, rel style sheet, and we call it like, let's see, CSS style.css. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this just to save on some screen real estate. So this is really cool, really basic. Um, the thing that was confusing for me coming to Node at first, like if you're coming from, let's say, PHP, um, where you've got Apache listening on the entire directory, you really never have to configure this because you're not running a service like Node does. So if you have your index.php serving down some HTML that calls CSS style.css, Apache will know to look for a CSS folder and look for a style file inside of it. But that's not the way things are going to work with Node, uh, specifically because Node's a little bit lower level, a little bit closer to the metal. Um, and so like any routes that you don't define, like we only have this one route defined right here, uh, the Node server isn't going to know what to do with. So if we go ahead and we keep this in and we restart the app here, um, and we go to port 3000 and then we open up our console, which I'm going to do with uh, command option I, um, we can see that this file here, let me make this a little bigger, style.css was a 404, it failed to load. And so even if we go back in here, create a new folder called CSS, just like we'd expect, and create a new file called style.css. And I always like to do something just really, really obvious, like star, background red, or something like that, see if it's working. Uh, and we refresh here, uh, we'll still see that it's like not able to find this. So like one approach that you could take, right, is you could do something like, um, you could do app get, right, CSS, style, um, dot CSS, and then you could like send down a file, which would be CSS slash style dot CSS. Oops. So let's go ahead and restart that and load this up here. And we get it, and it's red, right? But this is obviously not the way you'd want to do it because you don't want to create a separate route in your application for every single image, JavaScript file, style sheet, anything like that. So like another way you could do it is you could try, we'll get into more advanced routing later, later but you can throw like a wild card here, right? So you could be like, you know, this isn't proper syntax, but like anything in the CSS directory, and then you could use Node to try to find a file with that name. But again, that's like not exactly what we want. What we really want is we want to send up um, just a folder for the entire app to check whenever a static file is requested. And so Express has a really nice API built in for that. And so all you have to do is you can do app.use, um, and then you can go ahead and uh, do express.static, and then you set a folder name. Uh, so I think it's pretty common to use public for the folder name. So basically this is saying any static request, meaning like any request that comes from the document backup or an Ajax request or anything like that, um, we're going to look inside this public folder. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make the public folder. And then the next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to take this whole tree directory, tree structure here, and we're going to move it inside the public folder. So public is never going to be part of the path name that you call. Um, public is going to be assumed. And so when we call style, or sorry, CSS slash style.css, the app now is going to know to look for CSS folder in the public folder. Um, and so we'll go ahead and do that. So we've got this set up, we've got that set up, I think we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and kill the app and restart it, and then refresh, and we've got it here. So now we don't have to have like a separate app for each thing, like um, we can go ahead, let's say uh, we can make a new one, and this time we look for like style2.css, and we can go ahead and make um, a new file in here call it style2.css, then we could do like, I don't know, like h1s or color blue, something like that. Um, we can go back into our index, we've got our h1 there. Uh, so now we go ahead and refresh the page and we can see that, you know, both style sheets, if we go over to the network tab and look at CSS, we can see that both of these, oops, 
style sheets are coming down, style.css and style2.css, but we don't have to make a separate route for every single one. So you set this up, and then very similarly, we can make a new folder in here called JavaScript. We can have a new script in here called like script.js. We can do something annoying like alert hello, hi. Uh, then back in our HTML, just like normal, uh, we can have, you know, script type text JavaScript, you know, source equals slash js slash script.js. Then we can just join these up here. Um, so basically now everything is going how you'd expect it. So it's like this one little line up here. You add that, and once that's done, everything works just as you'd expect. Um, you can also, if you want to, you can have multiple static directories. Um, and it's really simple. You just call it as many times as you want, right? So you can do app use static public, and then you can do app use static, uh, you know, like my uploads or something like that. You can make a separate folder. Uh, this just gives you the flexibility depending on how you like to design your app. Like, let's say you have a... Uh, I don't know, a big images folder that you wanted to kind of pull out or whatever. Um, so you can just add as many of these as you want and it'll check them sequentially as you request files. Um, yep, so that's pretty simple. Um, and this will work also with images uh, just like it does with CSS and JavaScript. So that's how you do static assets with Express.